Hey, my name is Anna Allen, and today I'm going to be showing you how to properly treat a wound and how to properly remove gloves. So first, I'm going to wash my hands, and then once I've washed my hands, I'm going to put on gloves so that I prevent the spread of infection and bleeding. And then once I have my gloves on, I'm going to ask my patient where their wound is. So where's your wound? Right here. And once they tell me where the wound is, I'm going to inspect the wound for any foreign objects or debris. There's no foreign objects or debris in the wound. So now that I know that, I'm going to take um, a sterile dressing, such as a gauze pad, and place it over the wound, applying pressure with three fingers. I'll be applying this pressure for a few minutes until the bleeding stops. If the bleeding does not stop, then I will apply another pad on top of the original one because removing the original one risks removing a scab that has already formed. And then once it has stopped bleeding, I'll be taking some tape and put tape over this. And I'll apply it up and down the bandage making sure that the wound is fully covered and that I'm not doing it too tight or too loose. And then once I have that done, I'll tuck the end of the bandage underneath and then I'll ask my patient to move their arm around and make sure that it's not too tight or loose to so move your arm around. Does it feel good? Can you put your fingers good. and everything? All right, so once all that's done, then I'll take the gloves off by putting two fingers here, taking this off, crumbling it up into the hand of this glove, taking two fingers, Trying, making sure I'm not touching the outside of the glove. And then I will throw this away into a contamination bin.